Mom? Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. Oh, Roro. Mommy. <laughs> Thank you for coming down. Yeah, well, just following orders. I cannot see. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? Well, you're in the country, so what were we going to do? Go out whoring in Soho? Yeah, that would have been the first choice. Mm -hmm. Well, look, Kendall's gone to the pub, apparently, so I've just had a little bit of pigeon done. Didn't think anyone would be feeling terribly hungry. I know I'm not. No, right. Don't want to get course not. bolus of gubbins. Take a plate. Thank you. So, how are you? Well, I might just as well ask you if you're going to go into all that. Uh, it, w <laughs> it wasn't intended as an aggressive question, Mom. It's... No, I'm fine. Rory's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, shall I be mother? Yeah, why don't you give it a go? <laughs> Yes, well, I'm sorry, it's not a 48-ounce T-bone steak with truffle fries, but there we go. Some of us don't want coronary heart attacks. It's nice, Ma, it's nice. There's quite a lot of shot in the pigeon, so mind how you go, or you'll crack a tooth. And the shot can take a bit of feather in, too. Hmm, shot and feather. Shall we begin with the negotiation straight away? <laughs> First time I've had you in from the night in a decade. It's just a shame it's so you can put the squeeze on me for your father. Ma, it's not like that. No? No. Tell me, what does it feel like being sent here to wheedle out your mother? <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm not getting involved. She's right. Well, oh, thank you. Thank you. A bit of solidarity. 20 years too late, but never mind. Someone's taking Mummy's side. I mean, if, if you want to get into it, you're just posturing, right? I mean, if you go with Sandy and Stewie, you're burning down the Coliseum with your children inside it. I've thought about it. I discussed it with Rory. Yeah, well, great to get his brain on it. Potatoes. He's actually rather clever. Yeah, before he rolls one of his tobacco and hash monstrosities. Oh, God. Sorry, what was that? Nothing, Mum. There's a number. Ah, here we go. The chiseling begins. This'll be good. How much can we screw out of our dear old mother? Well, Dad, unrelated to the vote, of course is willing to reopen the divorce settlement. So what's the number? Well, what do you want? I want to piss off your father. Well, I think that's working. Mm -hmm. oh, come on, help yourselves. All right then, come on. What's his top number? Well, he told me to tell you 10, but it's 40. So it's 50? No, no, it's 40. <laughs> Roman, you're not very good at this. No, what's the real top? He doesn't have the real top. <laughs> Dad would never tell him. I know what I'd like. Tell him the Summer Palace. The Hamptons has. I hate it out there. No, but he loves it, doesn't he? He loves the parties, the clam bakes with people who despise him. Such fun. But it's like, what is that? It's like 150 million. It doesn't matter, Rome. It's just numbers. I'll have a word with Jack the Alsterman, too, and throw that in. OK, but... Or, how about 20 million, and you kids give me Christmas every year? Oh, come on. Mom, don't make it like... I would like to come for Christmas. Sure. No, you never invite us. Well, that's because you made it quite clear you wouldn't come. That was one time. That was several times. I was 18. Look. I would like to see you for Christmas, instead of you always being with your father. Why don't you ask him what he'd rather? He can keep the summer palace if I get the family every Christmas. You have to have good lines of communication after a divorce. It's absolutely key. So I think we have to hear which he'd prefer. Let's make him choose. <laughs> 